Hello there! In today's video, I want to show you how to make a delicious gourmet yogurt using your cuckoo bread maker. There are many different ways of making yogurts, but since the cuckoo bread maker has the option to make it, I really wanted to try. I went through lots of trial and errors, but I finally got it, so I'm excited to share this with you. All you need is the whole milk and yogurt culture. I wasn't so familiar with yogurt cultures, but I searched around and found this yogurt culture from cheesemaking.com. They are cheaper than most other places, so I do recommend this company. If you want to take advantage of your Amazon Prime, you can get this, but it's $10 for 4 packets versus $6.95 for 5 packets from cheesemaking.com. First, you can use a scale and pour in 1,000 gram or 1,000 milliliters of milk into the pan. If you have a measuring cup, that perfectly works as well. You don't need to worry if you go over or under a few grams. Then, add two packets of yogurt culture in. I tried using one packet according to the directions but it came out more watery than I expected, so I like using two packets. You can certainly use just one packet if you want drinkable type of yogurts. Put the pan in and secure its place. Now, I'm using the mix button to just mix the cultures in for less than a minute. Then I press stop button and press hold the start button for 2 seconds. Then it'll get you out of the mix function and reset the menu. After the mix, I will select number 9, the yogurt menu. What it's doing is just purely warming up the pan for proper fermentation for straight 8 hours. It does not do anything else but controlling the temperature. It is very important to let the pan cool down for two hours or more after the first eight hour cycle. So I usually let it run overnight and start the second cycle first thing in the morning. If you check your yogurt after the first cycle, it looks like nothing happened and it can shock you. But trust me, you need to run two cycles to turn this milk into a yogurt. After the cooling period and right before you start the second cycle, just mix it up again for less than a minute. It is time consuming, but results are amazing and it's so delicious. My son never likes store-bought yogurts, but he is constantly asking for homemade yogurts now and it makes a great breakfast and dessert for us. Here I'm starting the second cycle. We are finally done with two cycles for over 16 hours. This is what it looks like fresh out of the pan. It is nice and creamy and perfect. You would want to refrigerate it before you enjoy them. Here is my gourmet yogurt cup. It is topped with my homemade apple jam, some granola and diced apples. It is so mouth-watering and heavenly. You would want more. My cuckoo bread maker is busy working on yogurts almost every day. Here is the summary of the yogurt making process. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I would love to know how yours came out as well. Thank you for watching and happy yogurt making!